All right, so at the end of Modoc season one, spoiler alert, the very last episode is Days of Modoc's Past. I think it's what's called Days of Modoc Past. Kind of like Days of Future Past, which is a, a mock of the X-Men movie from Fox Studios. So from that from this episode, there is a young Modoc that basically goes to the future to stop the current Modoc and kill his family so that that Modoc can live to his fullest potential and have Modoc world. Basically is what it is. And we see that you know, when given the current MODOK, you know, when he's given the chance, okay, I'm going to kill your family and is that what you want? He contemplates and contemplates and then we get to see that he actually does let the old MODOK kill his family and goes through the MODOK world. But then we know that he realizes that he still misses his family. So he's going back in time or trying to use the young MODOK to go back in time to find his family. So that's basically the cliffhanger is MODOK trying to go back in time to find his family so he can have his cake and eat it too. That's basically what it is. Now, I saw a recent DualShock article that did tease some tweets that could basically confirm that MODOK Season 2 is coming. And because of that, I wanted to highlight those tweets and see what we could possibly get into Season 2 and get your thoughts as well. Okay, so DualShockers.com basically said that MODOK Season 2 has been teased. And the article goes on to say that replying to a tweet earlier this month about Melissa's sexuality, Melissa is the daughter of MODOK in the cartoon, co-creator Jordan Blum said that Season 1 focuses mostly on her relationship with her dad, but season two will introduce her girlfriend. Another user replied saying, so season two is officially confirmed, to which Blum responded, not yet, just need enough people to watch it. But given that the co-creator said that, obviously he knows that the season two is intended to happen and possibly will happen. The article goes on to say that Blum has since claimed in an interview with Comic Book Resources that he has got to do season two and that he wants a sequel to contain some superhero heavyweights like the X-Men. He says the X-Men floodgates have opened. So yeah, there are some bigger, bigger guys I'd love to show up for season two. You know, I think I'd love to write a Storm Modoc scene if allowed, if allowed to do so. That would be my big pick. So I think given the article and the tweets that we see from Dual Shockers, we can obviously tell that season two wants to happen and possibly could happen. And I think with the recent ratings for the show, like Rotten Tomatoes has shown that it has 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is fresh. It also has an 82% score from the audience, which is the audience score, which is great. And this is what Rotten Tomatoes had to say about the show. The critics' consensus was, though its tendency toward too muchness may test some viewers' patience, slick stop motion, a killer voice cast, and a seemingly endless well of jokes make MODOK an entertainingly chaotic diversion. So from all that with the article, obviously with the co-creator wanting season two to happen and obviously can hopefully make it happen, and then with the ratings of the show, hopefully that's enough for MODOK season two to happen. Now to play devil's advocate, I will say that it may be really hard for MODOK season two to happen solely because this show is one of the last few shows to have Jeff Loeb's name attached to it. And if you don't know who Jeff Loeb is, he is basically one of the last remaining guys of Marvel television, which is the one that made the Netflix shows, the shows on ABC like Inhumans, all the shows that have, that have are basically done and over with that we don't see anymore, including Hellstrom, which was on Hulu that will not continue at all. So hopefully MODOK does not follow into that. Hellstrom did not get very good reviews. I'm hoping that because MODOK seems to be popular with fans so far and people are watching it, that we will get a season two and that Kevin Feige can put his kind of hate or whatever he has for Jeff Loeb kind of in the back seat and actually give fans what they want. I think it is good to have Marvel kind of counter programming on, on multiple channels. We have all this programming on Disney Plus, And while you may think, okay, well, MODOK is kind of taking away from that, it's really not because this is more for adults. You know, it's TVMA right off the bat when you watch a show, it tells you that. So, you know, while you have family friendly shows like the Marvel stuff on Disney Plus, obviously the Marvel movies coming out, you could also have this on there for more adult programming and let older fans of Marvel kind of have something to enjoy for themselves. So if you've seen Modoc season one, do you think there should be a season two? Do you think with obviously the co-creators to mean that there's way more to talk about as far as the family characters, introducing the X-Men formally to the show. Do you think that's enough to get season two kind of, you know, enough to go off of? And do you think that Kevin Feige will allow season two to happen? Love to hear your thoughts down below. And that's it for this video, guys. Enjoy to hit that like button. For more like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on The Mashup.